Assalamu alaikum guys my name is Amara Shahid today the topic of my discussion is electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation let's start with the points introduction we will discuss process then there are further steps in mitochondrial electron transport chain bacterial electron transport chain and photosynthesis here comes the introduction Electron transport chain is the series of complexes that transfer electrons from electron donors to electron acceptor where it occurs reactions and couple this transfer with the transfer of protons across membrane the electron transport chain is built up of peptide enzymes and molecules this is the uh, structure of electron transport chain that is the outer membrane and the inner inner membrane atp synthase works as a catalyst atp is converted into the atp and then nadh is can nad is converted into nadh and then comes process the flow of electrons through electron transport chain and is an exergenic process The energy from the tox reaction create an electrochemical proton gradient that drives the synthesis of adenosine triphosphate. In aerobic respiration other electron acceptor are used such as sulfate. In electron transport chain the redox reaction are driven by the Gibbs free energy state of components. Gibbs free energy is related to the quantity called redox reaction. complexes in the electron transport chain have harvested the energy of redox reaction that occur when they transfer one electron from a low redox potential to the high redox potential comes the atp synthase what is atp synthase electrochemical gradient that drive the synthesis of atp by coupling with atp synthase the electron transport chain in the site of oxidative phosphorylation is found on the mitochondrial membrane NADH and FADH is used by the electron transport chain to pump protons into the inner membrane generating electrochemical gradient over inner membrane in photosynthesis eukaryotes the electron transport chain is found on thylakoid membrane in bacteria electron transport chain can vary over species electron transport chain of thylakoid membrane chloroplast stroma and thylakoid lumen and molds in it First of all, PS2 receives the light and then transfers the electrons to the PQ and PQ then transfers to the PC and the PC further transfers it to the further and then this cycle removes it. Mitochondria electron transport chain. Most eukaryotic cells have mitochondria which produce ATP from products of citric acid cycle, fatty acid oxidation and amino acid oxidation. at the inner membrane of mitochondria electron from nadh and fadh to pass is through the electron transport chain to oxygen which is then reduced to the water the electron transport chain comprises an enzymatic series of electron donors and acceptor each electron donor will pass electron to a more electron active acceptor which is in turn donates these electrons to another acceptor a process that continues down the series until electrons are passed to oxygen passage of electrons between donor and acceptor releases energy which is used to generate a proton gradient by pumping proton into the inner membrane space producing a state of thermodynamics this whole process is known as oxidative phosphorylation then come mitochondrial redox carriers Energy obtained through the transfer of electrons down the electron transport chain is used to pump protons from the mitochondrial matrix into inner space creating an electrochemical proton gradient. ATP generated from ADP and inorganic phosphate complex 1 accepts electron from the Krebs cycle electron carrier nicotinamide adenine thionucleotide and passes them to coenzyme q which receives electrons from complex 2 coenzyme q passes electrons to the complex which passes them to cytochrome c cytochrome c passes electron to complex 4 which uses electron and hydrogen ion to reduce molecular oxygen to water there are four membrane bound complexes have been identified in mitochondria complex 1 complex 2 complex 3 and complex 
complexes of mitochondria. Complex 1. In complex 1, two electrons are removed from any NADH and transferred to a lipid soluble carrier ubiquinin. Complex 1 is one of the main sites at which premature electron leakage to oxygen takes place. Pathway NADH is oxidized to NAD by reducing flamine mononucleotide to FMNH2 in two electron steps. Here comes complex 2. In complex 2, the delivered electrons are delivered to Q non poles originating from succinate and transferred via enzyme Q. Complex 2 consists of four subunits. Mitochondrial succinate dehydrogenase complex subunit C. Succinate dehydrogenase complex subunit D. Electron donors and fatty acids. Then complex 3. In complex 3, the Q cycle contributes to the proton gradient by an asymmetric absorption of protons. Complex 4. In complex 4, sometimes called cytochrome A A3, electrons are removed from four molecules of cytochrome 3 and transferred to the molecular oxygen, producing two molecules of water. Reverse electron flow. First, we have discussed the electron flow. Now, we are going to discuss reverse electron flow. Reverse electron flow is the transfer of electrons through the electron transport chain through the reverse redox reaction, usually requiring a significant amount of energy to be used. This can result in reducing the oxidized form of electron donor. For example, NAD plus can be reduced to NADH by complex 1. Oxidative phosphorylation. Oxidative phosphorylation or electron transport link phosphorylation is the metabolic pathway in which cell uses enzyme to oxidize nutrient thereby releasing the chemical energy stored with in order to produce adenosine triphosphate in most eukaryotes. This takes place in mitochondria. Almost all aerobic organisms can carry out oxidative phosphorylation. During oxidative phosphorylation, electrons are transformer. From electron donors to electron acceptor is oxygen in redox reaction. Photosynthetic. In oxidative phosphorylation, electrons are transferred from low energy electron donors to acceptor through an electron transport chain. As we all know, in all phosphorylation, the energy of sunlight is used to create a high energy electron donor which can subsequently deduce redox active component. These components are then coupled to ATP synthesis by a proton translation by the electron transport chain. Here comes the end of electron transport chain. Thanks for watching the video.